Hey everybody, my name's Silver, and welcome back for more Bungo Stray Dogs Tales of the Lost here in the channel. Again, I guess you can say it's been a little bit of a minute since we have actually sat down and touched on this game, but if you did go ahead and miss the last episode where we actually did go ahead and take on the grinding portion of the very last Black Market Plus event that was out, I'll definitely go ahead and leave that link for you guys in the cards, the end cards, description, yada yada, y'all already know. But in today's video, we are going to go ahead and take on the very brand new Black Market Plus event, even though I've already kind of done, like, I guess you could say a little bit of it. Well, I'll go ahead and, like, I guess you could say explain more into you guys in, like, a couple of seconds because got to get this out of the way first. If you guys are hyped, you ready for more Bungo Straight Dogs Tales of the Laws here on the channel, definitely make sure to hit that like button for your boys. Well, consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content. Without further ado, let us go ahead and begin so just to let you guys know number one i did just go ahead and change my uh my little home screen so every single time we did go ahead and come back it would be the ur kyoka that we do have you know shout out to the queen right there but one thing that did actually go and happen ever since the last black market plus event is the fact that we got a new one and plus with a new one we got a brand new banner so i, I kind of want to go over everything real first and then hop into the event so again like with a brand new black market plus event we have a brand new step up for the new black market plus event which is actually supposed to be the what is it the i really have no idea how to pronounce their names the only thing that i do know is that the girl in the blue was actually there during the dead apple movie when chuya jumped off the plane he was like do you know when it's a good time to chicken out and go home there is not one you know then he jumped off the plane to go fight the dragon hard ass scene by the way but this is, again, the little banner right here. The only two units on this banner is literally just those two right here. This guy right here, and then her right here. Shout out to, you know, the queen right here. But if you guys did want to go ahead and know, I guess you could say the, the step ups for, again, 1300 stones from step one to step six. Getting all the way up to step five would be 1050, which is going to be our goal. Because, again, I kind of think that step six is kind of, uh, I guess you could say, irrelevant, you know? But that's neither here nor there. Of course, with this right there, they also gave us the little ticket banner that you can go ahead and use your limited tickets on. Or you just go ahead and summon without, I guess you could say, the step ups. And then we just have the rare scouts and the scene card and the normal scout. So that's literally it for that. If we did want to go ahead and check out the Black Market Plus event, then, well, number one, first things first, I should at least go ahead and show you guys the last one. The Dead Apple Part 2 was the last Black Market Plus event that we actually did do here on the channel. Again, I wasn't really able to grind it up that much for the fact that I didn't really pull any of the SSR event special characters. So this is all I've gotten towards. And again, you know, we have one more day left in the shop and there kind of really isn't anything for me to buy other than some of the stuff that is down here. But I feel like this event is going to come back. And if it does, then I will have the points to keep going and going and going, you know. So with that out the way, the new one that we do have, again, is the prologue for the happy birthday. We are actually, if we do go ahead and check, uh, well, actually, it should just be in the regular fight, right? Because I know, at least for right now, we are still on part one. Because normally, if you do go ahead and go into the fight, I still have to do my bonus, by the way. But you would have the complete over it if you actually did go ahead and finish up everything. So for me, I've already done easy, normal, hard, and very hard. As you guys can probably tell, just go from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top, you know, kind of skipping the rest of them. But it only lasted up to stage four. So we're going to get the rest of the stages later on part two, which again kind of shows that, oh, hey, we're going to be getting a brand new banner as well. So I kind of don't know how I'm going to do a summoning video for this, just in case you guys have kind of been curious on how we are going to do that. But... If you guys were kind of worried about the points or anything like that, I literally, again, only have three more Preach Sakuchi on goes left to go. And then for the Tanizaki, I'm pretty sure I still have to get literally every single one of them. That's three right there, four, and then five would be right there. And yeah, so I literally have every single one of those left to get. And my points is really not that high because, again, haven't pulled on the banner. So I've kind of been just taking the friend unit and one of the on goes with us. So... Finally, with all of that done and out the way, I'm guessing that you guys probably could tell that we have an exclamation point up on the little quest thing. If we do go ahead and go back a little bit, we have some story for this event, and lo and behold, it just happens to be this event right here. Now, while I was grinding up everything, I got part one all the way up to part eight. I'm pretty sure part nine, ten, and whatever the heck may be left, you know, will come out during part two, but I at least want to go from, what, like part one to part five, do the bonus, and then 
I guess you could say grind up a little bit and then go ahead and call this one a video right here. Keep on grinding. And then whenever part two comes out, hopefully we should have the stones to summon on either or banner. I really don't know how they're going to do that, but I kind of have an idea just because I've been kind of looking up some type of things. But again, we're going to have to wait for that. So I'm going to go back to the events, go right here, hit the fight thing, and then go ahead and at least do my bonus out the way real quick because who does not like to do a bonus? This is the team that I've been taking right here. Again, <laughs> you know, I, I really don't have a lot to choose from other than the on-go and then the friend unit, so kind of sucks, but I mean, why not, right? It's just kind of the way that I have to do things, but I mean, it's definitely not that bad, especially for the fact that this is just a bonus. All I got to do is just flick it, let it go wherever get the one hit kill and then i'll go ahead and grab my bonus points because you know who doesn't love bonus points especially especially with the five stones that they do give us because you know everybody loves stones right so i got eleven thousand points absolutely wonderful and i got my five stones you love to see it you absolutely love to see it but with all of that done and out the way we have scenarios okay so again i didn't show off any of these beforehand while i was doing my own grinding i had to skip part one because i kind of really didn't know if i was going to be, be able to show it off again but now i can so let's get it started part one baby the bungo stray dog side story prologue happy birthday the only reason why i'm skipping the names is because i have no idea how in the heck to say them. i'm not gonna lie to you guys oh what's popping with you mr killer detective and who in the heck are you the puzzle maker Oh, that's kind of hard. What is this? This world isn't perfect. That's the reason I, why I always aim to be. The legendary agent Mizuki Tushijimura? Okay. That's how I want to write it. That's how I want my autobiography to start. Hello, everyone. It's me. The Silver Inferno Z, not let me stop, but the newbie that the Supernatural, or that the Supernatural Ability Special Investigations Division has high hopes for. Did you know today actually marks a specific day, one that should be celebrated? That's right, it's the day of my first mission. After finishing the test with the highest scores and the training in the shortest duration possible, I'm on the road to becoming a legend. This story will be made into a movie, I'm sure of it. Still. This assignment is not simple by any means. I'm tasked with monitoring a supernatural ability user. And on top of that, I'm told the person is classified as a first class user, the most dangerous and powerful ranking. That's who I'm supposed to be in charge of. This is in addition to him always being surrounded by snipers. The system allows them to be prepared for any signs of danger, or at least that's good, you know. They can shoot anyone down at a moment's notice. A living, breathing natural disaster. A nuclear bomb placed on a street corner. One must keep an eye on him to stop a potential rampage before it happens. That is my duty as a member of the Special Investigations Division. Is it Ayatsuji? I think so. Ayatsuji Sensei or Ayatsuji Yukicho. I am the agent dispatched by the Special D Investigation Division. I'm in front of the Ed the Ayatsushi Detective Agency. That is the office I'm charged with watching over. I have to wonder what kind of person he is. Oh, that's not to say I haven't read and memorized all of the documents listing his abilities, career histories, cases he solved, and everything else available to me. It's just, there was nothing written about his personality. According to my co-workers, dealing with him won't be an easy task. Yep, when I am with, oh my bad, oh my goodness. When I asked one of my senior co-workers about it, this is what he told me. Oh, look, it's Ongo. There's one thing, the secret to going up against Atsu Ayatsuji. I gotta remember that name, bro. Ayatsuji. Okay, let's go. Is this, your attitude needs to be as cold as ice. No matter what he does, no matter what you witness, you need to be calm, cool, and collected. Never allow your emotions to show in your expression. Well, not that you could pull that off. Well, obviously not, you know, because that would be pretty freaking horrible. <laughs> and I thought about it. Of course I can do that. What's the big deal? I can stay calm, cool, and collected. That's easy. And you know why? There's a movie I've seen dozens of times, and that's how the main character was. She got her bike, she got her biker jacket, her sunglasses, and she speaks nothing of her past and shows no emotions. 
As a world-class spy, she laughs in the face of danger, and then she overcomes it. <laughs> I'm getting myself worked up here. Ayatsuji Sensei, you're there, right? I know you are, so don't pretend you're now, or don't pretend you're out. Come in. Thank you. It doesn't matter what kind of person he is. I am a future world-class agent. No matter what I see, I'll be calm, cool, and collected. I won't let my emotions show. I've been ready to do something so simple since the day I was born. Now, you listen up, Sensei. Now that I'm here, you better... One thing I take pleasure in is torturing suspects. How about a little heat? <laughs> is that Tani Zaki? What the... Is that a man being hung from the ceiling and cooked alive? Did she faint? Oh, I jumped accordingly from the shock and hit my head on the door frame. Oh. Shout out to being calm, cool, and collected, right? Like, <laughs> you, you, you literally had a whole plan and you did not go through it at all. So, we might as well check out the rest of the parts as well. I don't know if we'll be able to literally check out from part one to part eight because I don't want to make this entire video the story, but if it does get to that, then sorry you know that was definitely not the plan you know but let's keep it moving what do you think you're doing wait there i'm in the middle of something damn tani zaki bro <laughs> you going through it all chief anyways my apologies for the interruption let's continue our, our conversation i have a question for you young man low heat medium heat or high heat which do you prefer Oh, high heat, you say? I'd be happy to fulfill your request. That is absolutely wild, knowing damn well my man cannot speak. <laughs> Come on, man. And how would you like me to make this fire? Charcoal will produce a little smoke. While in season, wood would do the opposite. We can reach a fatal amount with pine. Wow, so you want pine? You're a fan of being unable to breathe, I see. Okay, as you wish. My man is already coughing. Distance is next. Would you like to be smoked from afar? Or would you like to be sub or, or would you like to be so close that you burn your head to a crisp? I suppose that last question wasn't necessary. Burn. Burn to your heart's content. How did you get in this situation? What the hell? <laughs> Hold on a second. What is it? What are you doing? That man's going to die. Not to mention we're not even outside. You think the suspect will spit out what he knows if I just gently warm him up? That's not what I said. Wait, a suspect? Correct. Just early I discovered him trespassing and now I have him restrained. Trespassing? You mean he snuck into this office? That'd be a major problem. This is an important facility managed by the government. A nuclear silo or silo meant to contain the ticking time bomb that is a... a what is it? Ayatsuji, I, I keep on, I don't know why, like every single time I see his name, I like stop and I'm just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but it's Ayatsuji, come on bro, let's get it. That would mean that not only did someone infiltrate this place, but did so without any alarms going off. The special investigations division will have to take responsibility for this. Wait, does this mean I might get fired after only my first assignment? Seems you've realized the gravity of the situation. Now I must ask you to find a quarter to sit in and be silent. Huh? Oh, okay. Back to the matter at hand. It is said that the hard circulatory function is thrown off when a person is hung upside down. It's causing them to die within a few hours. On the other hand, smoke exposes you to carbon monoxide which will hinder proper oxygen intake. This will kill you within a few dozen minutes or a few hours depending on the concentration. If you allow me, I'd like to test which occurs first. Wow. This man is a legend and a demon at the exact same time. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, wouldn't you have to remove the gas if you want him to confess? Or the gag? Why would I do that? Well, it just sounded like he's been trying to tell you something for a while now. Are you an imbecile? What if I... Or, wait. It, if I do that and he does confess, then what? That would just spoil the excitement. I'm sorry? So, does he like torturing people just for fun? What? 
After being caught off guard and thrown into the situation, I watched as the intruder was smoked for three minutes. Or was it five minutes, actually? It might have been longer. Either way. At some point, it finally hit me. I'm being left out here, aren't I? I was, I was sucked into this whole thing and overwhelmed. I'm supposed to be an agent. It's supposed to be my first mission. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I have to decide what measures to take. A world-class agent like me should be talk or should be taking the initiative. So how will you treat this? Ayatsuji. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, I damn near died again, but I got it out this time. No. Fuck you mean no, huh? <laughs> what? Is this man okay? Oh my goodness, shout out to the one stone that we are getting from all of this, but uh, part three it is. Why not? Prologue, happy birthday. And then part three. So, Ayatsuji is smoking Tanizaki for what reason? And Sujimura got herself mixed into this because this is supposed to be her first day and now uh, I'm literally still freaking confused. What is he doing there? What is Tanizaki doing? How did he get himself into that situation? And why is he just like, oh, hey, let me just torture you and then, you know, not find out any information, you know, because I like that. <laughs> what? You know, like, Ayatsuji. No. Huh? Uh, I haven't said anything yet. You wanted to meddle in my interrogation. I mean, sure, but still. And the reason is that you don't want to be underestimated as a rookie, isn't that right? If I had to say. Speak up. Oh, good God. You're right. <laughs> but why? What's the point of analy what's the point of analyzing me like that? Good grief. I see the simpleton population in this room has increased by one. Oh. There was no need for analysis. Everything I needed was written all over your face. You're lying. There's no way that's true. Wait. Is that true? I feel a headache coming on. Something told me I should expect the worst when I heard that the person they were sending is a new recruit. I knew today would be a terrible day. Oh. You're talking mad shit into somebody who's literally right in front of you, bruh. Never mind. Anyway, I'd like you to choose a number between 1 and 10. Any number you like. Choose 10, please. What? Come on, there's no wrong answer. Just say whatever comes to mind. Literally, 10 is the best number. Choose 10. All right. Seven. Why would you choose seven? You know, like that one agent. Okay. Within the next seven hours, I promise you, I promise you will voluntarily put in a transfer request. Oh. Excuse me? For that purpose, I shall use threats, report everything you do, manipulate information, I will go to the greatest of lengths and use every method at my disposal. You have my word. That's so mean. Either way, there's no way I'll put in a transfer request. This is my first assignment and it's the opening chapter of my life as a world-class agent. I can't afford to mess this up. That's your problem, not mine. Oh, <laughs> but fine. How is this? I'll allow you five minutes. You will try to ascertain this boy's identity and objective during that time. If you can accomplish that, I will admit you have what it takes to be in charge. If not, then you must put in the transfer request before the seven hours are up. I... I'm about to say, you kind of stuck there now, queen. What's the matter? Giving up already? Or perhaps you plan on... Or perhaps you plan to run to your boss crying about how the person you were supposed to watch was a bully and kept saying mean things. <laughs> hey, you better start taking me seriously. All right, Tanizaki. Oh, look, they let him breathe. I will be the one asking the questions now. If you don't tell me the truth, I will do everything in the government's power to make sure you are punished. Oh my. You guys are wrong. I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. I'll be the one making the call. What's my next move? I'm hammered those training courses on how to interrogate an enemy into my head. According to Lowe's lessons, it's better to observe than to question. How should I proceed? So now, is that why it's called Ayasuji versus Natsuhiko? Because this is, I guess you could say a fight, I guess, you, or a fight, you know, between, oh, hey, can you stay and be calm, cool, and collected with me, or are you going to give up and throw in a towel and be a little bitch about it, you know? This is kind of nice. 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of like this. I probably at least want to go up to like part five. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to keep you guys here for too long. So, part four. Let's get this money. I kind of really do like this. Because at first I was like, how is there supposed to be a versus in between this? But now we know. So let's wish the shoddy the best of luck at interrogating, in, you know, interrogating Tanizaki. You know, how should I proceed? I'll follow what I learned in training first. Obtain the information through observation. I'll be searching your belongings. You have just the wallet. Nothing to break your pick locks, no common burglar tools, nothing related to wiretapping, no weapons, no explosives. I guess he can't be a thief or an assassin. Let's see. It looks like you have an ID in your wallet. What do we have here? A business card. Tanigaki Richiro. Salesman in a training at a family run in import store. You sell various goods. There's also. 20% off the coupons for the first time customers. Exactly. I'm just a poor man working at a knickknack shop. I was on a walk when I noticed a rocking chair that was made overseas through a crack in the door. Yeah, it's such a rare shape, so I wanted to get inside a closer look and ended up inside. That rotten chair here is a certainty of, well, is certainty a very valuable antique. Most secondhand stores and collectives would pay an arm and a leg to have it. Right. I didn't come here to do anything wrong. Think about it. I didn't try to steal anything, did I? Is that true? Indeed. I caught him while he was trying to sneak out. However, there was no signs of anything missing, anything being moved, or any traps or wires being set. So why would you tie him up then? In other words, he didn't do anything of ill intent in his room, so he's not a criminal. I'm not. Ayatsuji. I don't think he's a crook. How about you come back in your next life with your brains intact? Oh my god. What? <laughs> but think about it some more. If he was just a regular guy at a knickknack shop, would he be able to infiltrate this office without being noticed by the sniper surrounding this building? Oh. On the other hand, this ID he has is flawless. The address is real, the name and family registry checks out. So what does all this mean? Um, well. Come on now, you only have two more minutes until your career is significantly stained forever. Yeah, I can't let that happen, but I'm at a loss. What do I do? So now she really doesn't know what to do. Because at first she believed Tanizaki, but everything is too perfect. I think that's what he's trying to say. Everything is way too goddamn perfect, you know? So make sure, like... It's way too good, so he's got to be wrong. I guess she just hasn't figured out that my man has a, a special ability, and that's how he was able to sneak in. But now, the real question for us is how did he sneak in? But I guess we'll get there into the later parts. Here's everything that's happened so far. A world-class agent goes on her first mission to monitor an extremely dangerous supernatural ability user. Upon arriving at her target's office, she finds him talking to an unidentified boy suspended in midair above a fire. The young man is said to have infiltrated the building, he hasn't stolen anything, and he hasn't left behind any bugs or traps. I tried my hand at interrogating the intruder to figure out his identity and objective. I was told that if I couldn't, I'd be driven out of the office. But nothing is impossible for a future world-class agent. I quickly see through the boy's ruse and receive recognition from the target. Okay, I like that, you know. Hey, for, wait, what is it? Before go the falsehoods, you haven't seen through anything yet. What? Are you sure? Excuse me, if you let me go, I have a first time 20% coupon with your name on it. <laughs> Silence, so your goose is... What? <laughs> Why would you say your goose is cooked in... Oh, ass is burned, goose is cooked, same thing, but easier to say or less profane to say. Is that, is that the right word? I'm just going to keep on reading, okay? Silence sounds okay. Now, it seems you're out of time. Wait, already? Didn't I have like two more hours? Just how naive are you? At any rate, you failed. And if you can't ascertain the boy's identity, then you can't continue to work. Or then you can't continue with the work that's to come. There you go. But that doesn't make sense. I haven't ever done anything yet. Or I haven't even done anything yet. And besides, now that I really think about it, this whole situation is weird. Someone being monitored doesn't get to choose who does the monitoring. That's a contradiction and an end of itself? Okay. 
in end of itself is just the weirdest freaking sentence in the world to be honest with y'all but the, the game said it so i'm gonna say it you know you know we try to keep it nice and going over here you know what i'm saying the fact that you didn't take or the fact that you didn't think of that counter argument five minutes ago is also another issue there's no more there's no one more suited for this job than i am i received the highest possible score in training no complaints no questions asked you should probably keep your mouth shut then it decreases the value of your training Ooh, listen here whoa you believe you can watch over me with that pitiful leveling of observation and deduction Insolence is a constant occurrence within the special investigations division but this is beyond appalling it's infuriating no pushing i don't want to swing what did you just say do you realize as the wait do you realize as the person in charge of you I have the right to shoot you down right oh and i'm telling you that this that that's where my displeasure stems from even though a horse has the privilege of choosing its rider oh okay tanizaki bro i said stop pushing i'm getting dizzy my man's kind of going through it right now excuse you well i didn't think i would be partnering with such a cruel man for my assignment either why are you pushing now you're not even being fair you told me to un to uncover his identity within five minutes right so that's not right you're asking me to solve a problem that's not even complete you don't even know who he is and you asked me to figure it out you have no way of knowing if my answer is correct except i do know who he is come again so with that right there because again i said that i wanted to start door to stop at part five and then i guess you could say do the rest of the parts later i am going to guess on this one basically thinking that because ongo and dazai know each other and dazai is in the armed detective agency and ongo is in the special operations yada 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 you know what i'm trying to say i feel like this whole entire thing is just a test i i had suji if i can finally get his name stuck in my freaking head he and tanizaki are working together to help train the new girl which is the shotty if i can remember her name natsuhiko yeah i literally had to look at the screen to read it but i feel like that's what's going on so he says that he already knows who tanizaki is that was part five part six seven eight maybe nine ten or however freaking more that this thing ends up having whenever part two does end up coming out you know and i kind of do go ahead and finish the rest of the grinding then we'll get more and more and i feel like they'll be like oh hey this is just a test we passed way to be calm cool and collected at the end but you know yeah but i guess with all of that out the way i guess i should at least do one grind since i'm gonna have to be doing all of this stuff later anyways so i wish i could do the whole oh hey this is how i grind it but that is not possible so i rather stick with you right now this again is going to be the team that i shall take because i do not have any other units and because i kind of need the grind anyways i might as well just do it this one time since again we are getting pretty long because you know those five freaking uh parts literally took forever to do so eh. i'm sorry for again having these long little episodes about the uh the what's the cause where we first off haven't even done the summoning video yet and you know I guess you can say like the grinding was already done but not all the way so i just kind of am trying to find like an easier way to give this to you guys so that you guys literally don't sit there and watch me go through literally everything you know i'd rather just keep you guys here for the important stuff so doing the bonus stages the one grind and then literally i guess you could say showing off the story because for some reason this thing has story which i mean i'm not mad at not mad at at all so there goes that one thing that i do want to talk about though as we go over these four waves is the fact of the part two banner now when i told you guys before at the very beginning of the episode that i feel like i know what's going to happen when part two comes out because every single time we get a part two for black market plus event we get a brand new banner i was looking through the wiki because i am a very curious person myself on trying to figure out who or what will be the next banner to come out you know is it going to be worth 
spending the stones should i save the stones especially since what happened to your boy when we actually did the you know the dead apple 2 and i kind of missed that entire banner and i really wish i didn't because i really wanted to pull for those units but again i didn't have the full amount of stones for it so again i was looking through the wiki and i ended up finding the part one banner for this thing where it was ayatsuji sensei you know the blonde haired kid and whatever the heck the blue haired lady is, you know, I keep on, I'm, I'm really not good with names of characters that I've only seen maybe once or twice, you know. So it's those two on this banner right now for part one. While looking, I did see that again, the JP side of things had already had their part one and part two banners. And their part two banner ended up being the guy that we saw at the very beginning of the part one you know where they showed off the characters and there was this one guy here and he was supposed to be some super special interrogator i i, I literally forgot who in the heck he was like a super special investigator or something like that but it was him he was the only unit the only ssr the only event ssr i guess you can say on that banner so now it gives us two questions is it worth something on which banner, you know, should I summon on this banner right here with two units or the other one with one? Even though I did go ahead and I guess you could say look at their stats and obviously everything was different where I'm pretty sure now these three characters are kind of spread out between balance and everything like that. So it's kind of like, what do I do, you know? But the second question and probably one of the most important ones is because of the fact that that was just the JP banner when it came or when it does come to global they could change it where we could have a part two banner with all three of them on it not just the one guy you know and hopefully while i was talking your boy was smart enough to go ahead and at least show you guys the little screenshots of the wikis you know or scroll through the wikis basically what i was looking at you know so you guys can have an idea in your mind as well or at least to understand what the heck i'm trying to say so yes we do know that a part two banner is coming but the biggest question for me is will that part two banner end up having all three units or will it just have the one guy there so that's why you guys haven't seen a summoning video yet because i'm still curious because i don't want to do this summoning video right now for part one we did that the last black market plus event the dies i came out we summoned for him part two came out and we have brand new spanking amazing ass units you know three of them <laughs> I'm not doing that again. So if I got to wait for part two and then grind heavy throughout part two, I will definitely do that. So what a perfect time to clear it, you know, especially since we did just get done with the stage being cleared. I at least did want to go ahead and talk about that. I was going to go and save that for after all of this, but I feel like that was pretty freaking good. So kind of sucks about the fact that, again, we're not really getting a lot of points since we only do have two event special units, one of them being the SSR, one of them being an SR that you can get from the shop, so I'm not really getting that lucky. Again, if you guys did not know, the only two SSRs right here for the boost units are just these two right here, and then you have the Tanizaki and the Ongo, so again, when part two does come out, hopefully we will get the third unit, maybe, hopefully, you know, with a banner with all three on it, but if not, then We'll just be doing the summons how we would normally do the summons. But with all of that done and out the way, I'm going to go ahead and end up this video right here. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button for your boy as well as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content as well as more Bloom Goes Straight Dogs Tales of the Lost coming to the channel. I at least wanted to make this video for part one and then go over the little story that we did go over. I didn't really know if I was going to go and split up this episode between just doing one for story, one for grinding, but technically the story's not even done all the way. We're only up to part eight, I'm pretty sure. If I actually do go ahead and look back at this scenario, yes, part eight. And we left off at part five. So whenever part two, whenever part two does go ahead and come out is when I'll go ahead and do part six, seven, eight, nine, ten. hopefully ending it off or nine or I don't really know how long it'll be, but we're gonna go ahead and just go through the rest of the story, do the little grind again, hopefully summon on the banner and then keep up the grind going so I can go ahead and grab the stones, the tickets, everything else that would be absolutely wonderful for me to get. So with that, I'm a dip. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.